okay guys in this video tutorial we will learn that how we can use the saturation block within the simulink platform for it first of all you need to open a simple simulink file and then click on this view option then click on the library browser and here you need to write sign wave sorry it must be like a sign okay wait yes and we got our sine wave so right click on this sine wave option and click on add block to model untitled so it will add a sine wave block in our model okay now we have sine wave block now again we will go to the library browser and we will write saturation saturation and we will got our saturation block also add it to the untitled okay, now this our saturation block may make it big like this okay okay now uh, first we have to learn some basic thing about this saturation block is that that it will allow the maximum of value to pass and also the minimum value to pass from this block like if sine wave is having a magnitude of 1 and saturation block threshold is from minus 0 0.5 to 0.5 then what will happen that it will this block that is saturation block just allow the signal from minus 0 0.5 to 0.5 and all other is chopped like a clipper circuit so it is a chopper of the uh, any signal if the value exceeds from its threshold okay so okay we will attach it like this we will double click on it here we have set upper limit 0 0.5 and lower limit minus 0 0.5 and for sine wave amplitude is 1 now in order to see the result on scope write scope here and press enter this is our scope and right click on it and add block to model untitled and here we got our scope connect it like this okay now we will double click on scope and we will go to the properties and here we will select number of axes as 2 okay number of axes are 2 so one must be connected directly to the sine wave and one is after the saturation block so like this so what will happen when we will run it double click on the yes now you can see that we will click on auto scale in here our sine wave is rising from zero and any get positive plus one while in its lower edge is at minus one while after chopping from the saturation block here you can see that see that the maximum amplitude of the signal is at 0.5 and the lower edge is at minus 0.5 so here you can see that saturation block is align certain amplitude to pass at a certain amplitude to block so this is a very basic function for the saturation block so hopefully you got the concept thanks for watching